DNA is the instruction manual for how to build life. From microbes to plants to human beings, it defines us all. The first video about the subject, it's like the first paragraph of Wikipedia. I think that's a good way to start studying. It's not gonna bring you all the answers. I, I remember when Wikipedia was in its early days, everyone was saying, do not use it. It's a terrible source for knowledge. And today, uh, you know, uh, it's much better than all the, uh, the old fashioned encyclopedias. The best short films for lifelong learning recommended by teachers for teachers. This is Short Films Teachers Love with your host, Richard Lee. So about two years ago, I was sitting uh, with my best friend, uh, which his name, by the way, is also Yuval. Uh, we were sitting in, uh, on the couch in my house and uh, we were talking. He then thought to go maybe learning a second degree in history. Um, and we were arguing about uh, whether Marie Antoinette said uh, the famous uh, phrase, uh, let them eat cake or not. Um, so, uh, you know, we both come from the world of content. For many years, I've been a creative director uh, in advertising. Uh, and Yuval is actually a film director. Um, he even made like a, a movie that had a premiere at Cannes Festival and went all, all over the world. Um, so as people who love content, um, we went to YouTube. We wrote Marie Antoinette. And then we got so many answers. The first one, by the way, was the Hollywood movie about Marie Antoinette. And then we got like a band named Marie Antoinette or something, a sixth grader just uploaded. We actually had no intention of uh, starting a startup. Uh, but then we started studying this area called uh, educational videos. And uh, we got some amazing figures like uh, uh, the, the American teenagers, 88% of them. Uh, when they want to learn something new, they go to video. Uh, 75 of the adults in the US are already searching also for knowledge on video, uh, but there's still no authority for knowledge on video. So then uh, we said, how come there's no video encyclopedia? Then we started this vision, um, and that's what we're doing since then. I want to take the check one, two, three approach of keeping things short. So how many videos do you have on the site? Uh, more than 15,000 videos. 15,000, wow. Where do the videos come from? And most of them come from YouTube. We got some videos from Vimeo um, and we got uh, our own player as well um, that we're starting to get some original content that you cannot find anywhere else on the web. Mm -hmm. Do you look for content or does content look for you? Uh, both. We started by looking for content and curating like existing content from uh, the video platforms. Uh, but now we're getting more and more uh, original content and people who upload it, who upload their videos both on YouTube uh, and on Check123. Excellent. How do you fund it? Uh, so we started by having great friends and family <laughs> that help us a little bit, really, to build uh, our first uh, product. And uh, then we got funded by Advantage. Uh, which is micro VC for educational technologies in Israel. Great. Now, on your For Educators page, you have a few claims I'd just like to interrogate. You say you work closely with educators from all over the world. How do you mm -hmm. do this and what's the process? Okay, so, so these are two different uh, questions, if I may. Um, all the videos in Check123 are really curated by, ex um, by professional experts in different fields. We started by going to Tel Aviv universities, to the different departments. Uh, like uh, we have someone who's uh, in charge of American history, someone from European history. Uh, unfortunately, we still don't have Australian history. So if one of the uh, listeners wants to join us, he may. Uh, so we really, we, we are about to give like, oh, oh, by, and by the way, all of our experts are with second degrees at least. Um, you suggested I look at this one called DNA. Some people are worried about these gaps in our knowledge and unforeseen problems they believe genetically modified organisms may cause. What's clear is that the instruction manual for life is more subtle, elegant, and complex than we could have possibly imagined. This is a complicated topic I think they explained really well, but I noticed here that you didn't have any age or comprehension level with the videos. So how are you expecting someone 
could jump into this, you know, as far as their age, or, or does it really matter? For now, we say that we are middle school up, because uh, I, I totally agree that most of our videos are not for elementary school. Uh, like, um, they can watch it, it's okay, it is safe, but uh, in order to explain uh, the DNA, maybe you need a more simple uh, video. Um, we're thinking about uh, adding like age groups uh, to, the, to the videos, um, but we'll do it later on because now we, we got to focus uh, in bringing the best DNA video and then we can get it in uh, for different ages as well. Uh, I think the DNA video is a great example uh, of great storytelling uh, and a great advantage of, uh, of videos on textual because I guess if you would read on uh, Wikipedia or something, it won't be as clear and uh, as interesting also and you know, it, it can become much more... Uh, technical than uh, the, the way uh, the, sh the video shows. You know, they, they said that Leonardo da Vinci, by the way, one of them, you know, he was a great, uh, um, his great studies of anatomy uh, were also because he was a great painter. So he was able not just to write about things, but also to show them. And I think that's a great example uh, of uh, storytelling, visual storytelling, uh, that explain the basic thing in a great way. Let's talk about another one called Bedroom at Arles by Van Gogh. All right, Cherubs, right now we're looking at Vincent Van Gogh's Bedroom at Arles. I don't see anything that looks like the human form here, but I'm gonna go ahead and argue this has a person in it anyway. What we see is a brightly colored, oddly shaped room with no shadows. Now the room Van Gogh painted was actually trapezoidal, so its odd shape does in some ways mimic reality, but the floor seems slanted towards the viewer, and each of the objects seem to be painted from different perspectives. A video like this, for me, introduces the question of subjectivity. How do you, how do you deal with that? It's such a big question, isn't it? So I, I guess, first of all, whenever you put a camera or write a word, um, there is a question of interpretation and of view, different views. I guess if you go to Wikipedia in, uh, in the US or in Japan and read about Pearl Harbor, you get uh, two totally different stories. Uh, and you know, from someone who's coming from such a complicated uh, situation, you know, the Israelis and the Palestinians, I know this. I know this, and um, <laughs> really, 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 because uh, it's so, by the way, it's so funny that we get a few videos that we got from uh, creators in Canada, which made a, a videos about the Israeli-Palestinian situation, which was really interesting for me as an Israeli, and uh, I felt they did a great job, like for both sides. So um, when it comes to, to decide about opinion, first of all, um, unlike uh, Wikipedia, for example, which got one article, at least in its language, about each subject, in Czech 1 to 3, you can watch sometimes more than one video about the same subject, um, which gives place for a few opinions uh, to be heard. So we believe that uh, you can uh, tell the story in different angles, and, and that's all right. Another thing is, like, we built in Czech 1 to 3 um, the story from, like, a main video, but also from, you know, sub, uh, subtopics. For example, uh, after you finish watching about the video about Van Gogh, you, you can uh, think, uh, read more about his relationship with Paul Gauguin, about uh, why did he cut his ear, you know, in different videos, which I hope can complete uh, this uh, story much better and makes like the small uh, pieces, like it puzzles it and make, uh, make it a bigger picture, we hope so. Origin of Life Theories by um... uh, um, Curiosity 180. The origin of life on Earth is complicated, and no one really knows exactly how it began. Nonetheless, there are two main components that we do know needed to happen in order for life to have gotten started. First, there must have been a genetic molecule, something like DNA or RNA, capable of passing along blueprints for making proteins. And second, Earth must have had access to the essential elemental ingredients of life. I think that's a good way to start learning. You know, I, I guess each and every video in Chakwanta Tree can become uh, a two-semester course at the finest universities in the world. That, there's two, by the way, for uh, Wikipedia or any source of knowledge as well. Uh, you can write books and books and books and books and fill rooms with, uh, you know, uh, studies about it. So, so it's a good way to enter, uh, you know, a subject. I, I remember when Wikipedia was in its early days, everyone was saying, do not use it. 
It's a terrible source for knowledge. And today, uh, you know, uh, it's much better than all the, uh, the old-fashioned encyclopedias. What is knowledge? Um, knowledge is a way to enrich um, your personal uh, arsenal of uh, ideas and thoughts. Something like this. That's good. Just, that's the first uh, time I said this sentence, so I'm not sure uh, if you would think about this uh, answer. But, uh, yeah. yeah. That's good. To listen to the full conversation, join us on SoundCloud, iTunes or Stitcher. For extra notes and community support, join our Facebook group today. This show is a proud member of the Education Podcast Network. Podcasts for educators, podcasts by educators. To learn more, visit edupodcastnetwork.com.